Sing for Hope pianos transform New York City. For three weeks in the summer. You may have heard of Sing for Hope because of the colorful pianos that they place in public places, like on sidewalks or in parks, places you would not expect to find them, inviting any passers-by to sit down and play, maybe for the first time. But Sing for Hope also transforms lives through the arts in schools, hospitals, and now through personalized singing grams. This is really neat. The singing grams are a new way for the arts to connect us all, especially during the pandemic, to uplift and bring joy to those in isolation. And David and I are about to receive one ourselves, so keep watching for that. Yeah, we're excited about it. And what's really cool about this is that the money raised from the Sing for Hope grams supports Broadway, opera, and other performers who are not working right now while theaters everywhere are dark. Now, before we get to our song, we want to talk with the co-founder behind Sing for Hope, who just happens to live in Mount Lebanon. She teaches at CMU and welcome Monica Yunus. Thank you for being with us, Monica. I'm delighted to be with you all. So tell us about Sing for Hope. Absolutely. Well, I think you said it beautifully. Sing for Hope is an artist peace corps. We connect artists with schools, hospitals, veterans care facilities. And basically we have this artist partner core who go into these places and bring their beautiful art form to those underserved communities. And so we hear that you have a, a Sing for Hope gram for us. I sure do. Are you ready for your little musical gift? We are oh, so ready. We've been waiting for the whole <laughs> hour. <laughs> okay, well, this is Omio Babino Caro. I like to call it the soprano anthem from Puccini's Gianni Schicchi. Omio Babino Caro, mi piace Wow. wow. Oh, oh my. Monica. I know that was only part of the song, but my goodness, your talents are through the roof. And I don't even, I mean, I couldn't tell what you were, I mean, I don't know what you were saying, but I felt what you were saying. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You don't need to know exactly, you know? That's so impressive. Tell, you know, part of this program is to help performers right now who are out of work. Mm -hmm. And tell us how difficult it is for these Broadway performers and opera performers, because all the theaters are dark. That's right, and according to um, Americans for the Arts, 95% of all performing arts organizations are closed. They've had to cancel their seasons. So just as you said, we have a lot of incredible artists who were, you know, on Broadway or making their next, you know, operatic debut, and right now it's all not happening. So this was a way for us as an organization that has so many artists who volunteer their time for us to try to give them a little bit of income, to try to uplift the spirits of, of the people who are receiving these Sing for Hope grants because there are so many people in isolation. And, um, you know, it also continues our programming, which normally is live, but because we can't go somewhere, we are bringing virtual programming, things like seated um, exercises for elder care patients and, you know, Know, anything that really brings the arts alive through a virtual programming um, aspect now. We're seeing some great pictures too of some of the grams that have been delivered to healthcare workers and yep. tell us if somebody wants to order one for a family member who might be at a nursing home who's in isolation or a nurse who works at a hospital, how do you go about doing that? Absolutely, it's very simple. You just go to our website, singforhope.org forward slash grams, and um, you can fill out a little form that gives us the information of the person that uh, you'd like us to call, and we call them up, 
and we have an incredible artist roster of, of folks from Broadway, Grammy Award winners, instrumentalists of all kinds, and they deliver this musical uplift um, at a time when, frankly, we all need it. And you know, a lot of times we, we've had artists who say, you know, this is the first time I've been able to perform for anyone since this whole thing started. And it's a great, what I like to think of as a win-win-win. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's a great idea. Music does transform. It does. And Monica, we are so honored that you gave us a, a, a singing gram. What a performance. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Monica. Thank you. And Thank if, you. If you would like to order a Sing for Hope Graham, go to the Pittsburgh Today Live Facebook page, or our page rather. We have uh, details posted for you there. Again, it's PittsburghTodayLive.com. Yes.